It's a tight space to occupy, but the cabin in the Lexus IS is fitted to a high standard because is it meant to be the small outspacious sedan that the Lexus lineup want a huge back seat? Try out the S. In the meantime, you'll need to fold up rear seat as passengers we give the is a 5 for comfort and quality. All its above average points for fit and finish room by a tight back seat when it was redesigned in 2014. Lexus stretched the is wheelbase a few inches to 110.2 inches in all that still significantly shorter than the Benz C-Class and BMW 3 Series, and it shows. The front seats in the IS have ample, but not generous space. The console limits knee room on all-wheel drive models with a sunroof. Headroom is just acceptable. The base seats feel comfortable enough for long highway drives. It's the F-Sport seats that truly hug your frame as you slide into them. Larger than average size adults might find the F-Sport seats to be a bit too fresh on the first day in back. The Lexus IS lets down with slim knee and shoulder room. It's rated at 3 across and back, but even two bigger adults will feel the pinch. From the driver's seat all the controls are easily within reach, but not all are a joy to use the climate control system features touch sensitive sliders to adjust the temperature, which are both finicky and useless if you are wearing gloves the Lexus infotainment system uses a mouse like controller that is infuriating to use while driving down the road, and quite distracting to boot credit where it's due, Lexus gives the as real buttons and knobs for most major functions, including a volume and tuning knob for the audio system trunk space is fine, if not expensive, at 13.8 cubic feet. The BMW's is bigger, the Benz's, smaller quality isn't the ist issue, and all its leathers and plastics feel like they can sweat it out for at least a generation, and the old chintzy steering wheel controls have been replaced with nicer units.